Hi guys, it's Natalie from the Convention Junkies here, and I'm here with the Susan Olson, aka Cindy Brady, and uh, the youngest one in curls. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't change my hair thanks to that song. <laughs> so tell my me. My hair is straight. Thank Unless you. the truth can be told. Thank you so much for being here. I truly appreciate it. It's an honor to meet you. I was telling Mike earlier, I didn't watch the Brady's till after when it was in syndication. Mm -hmm. So kind of growing up with you guys, seeing the show, watching the show. Um, do, you have a, do you have a fondest, do you have a really fond memory of being on the show? Oh, I have, I have dozens of, of fond memories. It was, it was a good show. It was a good set. Um, everybody loved each other. Uh, we would get, oh my gosh. Okay, that's my brother, Bobby. You realize that I that I stole that from you? Oh, <laughs> actually, he thinks he's stealing it from me, but I stole that pen from him. Uh, <laughs> but anyway, we, um, we would have guest stars on the show that didn't want to leave because they said it was the happiest set they'd been on. So it was a, it was a very good time. That's fantastic. Like it just and just watching the show and just watching the the characters and everyone develop. Like you guys. To me, we're such a close, like a close-knit real family. Right. Yeah, and, and we got a lot of criticism at the time be, for being too nice and too sweet. Um, although we were the first family that fought in the shows, you know, that, that argued with each other. Mm -hmm. And um, the fact that we did all get along, we had you had kids that respected the parents and you had parents that respected the kids. You don't get that today. Uh, I was speaking with one of the top producers of kids shows and I said why isn't there anything I can watch with my son and maybe I get a tip or two on parenting and he says I'll tell you exactly why I have been told that the parents either need to be gone or stupid the kids have to be in charge and I'm like well what kind of society do you think you're gonna end up with if that's what you're giving the kids and we're ending up with that um, and incidentally, my, my producer friend has recently left the business because he's so fed up with the parameters that he has to work with. He says, I, I don't like to, to write stupid parents, so I just have the parents conveniently gone. But, you know, here you got, you've got a family that gets along, respects each other, and a father who isn't a moron. That's right. Very true. And Robert, yeah. Reed, Robert Reed did a very f fantastic job. And it's he was very parental too. I mean, I, I've always told his daughter um, because she lived in Chicago. His he and his wife were divorced, and I said I, I always felt like we got the love that he wanted to give to to, to her. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, one thing, and I did read about you. You've been a radio talk show host. You obviously mm -hmm. been an actress, a voiceover actor. You've also you're also an animal uh, an animal activist as well. Yeah. Especially with your animal advocate right? more so than activist. I don't, I don't like to get lumped in with the PETA people. I hate PETA. Um. <laughs> but I did watch a show on like the interview with the Property Brothers, and they went behind the scenes and they were yes, at your, yes, yes. And sanctuary. I was at the uh, Spirit of Animals Sanctuary, and uh, I just wish we had gone inside because I, w I would like to have shown off the opossums because. People are mean to opossums. Don't be mean to them. They won't hurt you. They'll clean up your trash. They will, they'll eat ticks, so you don't have to worry about Lyme disease. Opossums will eat all the ticks. They're, they're wonderful creatures, and I, I just always like to speak out for them. <laughs> so what brought you to that with the animals? Um, I, I was born an animal lover, my, my whole family. I didn't realize until I started dating, and I had several guys say, gee, every time I come over and I pick you up, your, your whole family are, are watching nature shows. And I'm like, yeah, you're right, we are. <laughs> so, do, you have, do you have a favorite animal that you would, could spend every day with? Um, Other than I, like your typical cat and dog. Well, okay. Um, yeah, because cats and dogs are really the only ones that like being with us, really. Um, I, I was a horse crazy little girl, um, kind of kid that would turn over all the lawn furniture and jump over it. And 
And it wasn't until after Brady Bunch that I was allowed to get horseback riding lessons. Um, and I liked them very much. Um, but I think, well, it would be awfully nice to have a miniature horse. Um, my life will not be complete until I hear the pitter-patter of little hooves on my kitchen floor. So it's either a miniature horse or a pig or a little goat, a, preferably a fainting goat. Except I'm afraid I would be mean because I, I don't think I would ever, ever get tired of scaring the goat and making it faint. Now recently as well, the Property Brothers uh, did a renovation on the Brady House. What was that experience like for you, like to see an actual house turn into what was the set of the Brady Bunch? Well, we thought it was impossible. Um, and, and it wasn't just the Property Brothers, it was Mina and Karen and the Fords and uh, the new kid on the block, Jasmine, um, and so, and Lara Spencer. So everybody did, you know, and they, they put us to work too. Mm -hmm. So everybody kind of did their specialty. And, and I really, I honestly did think that they don't quite realize that they're going to have to change the front of the house. Because mm -hmm. how can you change, how can you take a one story house and make it a two story house and have it look the same? Exactly. And, and it was the, I think it was the Property Brothers who said, we have to sink the first floor. But they only sunk it like, like two feet. Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's just amazing. It's because the, the original house was nothing, nothing like, like the set. No. And, and now you walk in and, and we feel like we're back on stage five. Exactly, and that's where, where you guys grew up with yes. from, uh, from 1969 to 1974. So you spent all those years and you, it almost felt like such a real home. Yeah, yeah, kind of. Um, you know, the, the fourth wall was missing. It's just weird to have a wall where there wasn't a wall. You know, because I, I would look out and my mom would be there, you know, the cameras would be there, the coffee machine would be there, and now it's an actual house. So uh, this may be a little bit of an odd question, but if you could have taken anything from the set, what would you have taken? Um, the horse, because I could rent that out for a lot of money, because <laughs> every time they rebuild the set for movies or whatever, there's this huge effort to find the horse, and the horse was damaged in the 1994 earthquake. But um, as you can see in the show, through the use of 3D printing, um, they, they, we now call him the six million dollar horse and we named him Steve after Steve Austin. So the horse is Steve. <laughs> yeah, and exactly. And that horse was seen throughout the entire show. Yeah, sure was. Yeah. So, so yeah, so that's obviously a, a piece of nostalgia for you. Yes. Yeah. That is awesome. Well, that's all the time we have. I thank you so much for this. It's been an honor. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. It's been a pleasure to meet someone that I've had the chance to watch and grow over time. Uh, is there, uh, sorry, one quick question before I go. Is there anything you're currently working on now that our viewers would like to know? Well, okay, this is Canada. I, I have a terrestrial radio show in Los Angeles called Sunday Night Live. It's, um, it's on Sunday nights. My co-host, Frank Sheftel. But if you, if you can go to kabc.com, all of our archive shows are there. Perfect. So it's a great we can go back and listen in and Yeah, yeah, because I think I think you can get it anywhere. Yes, you can. Oh, thanks to the internet we can yeah. get anything from anywhere. But well, thank you so much for coming to Hamilton. Thank you. It's a pleasure seeing you. Pleasure talking to you. Thank you. It's been my pleasure. So this is Natalie from the Convention Junkies with the Cindy o Susan. with Susan Olson, Cindy Brady from the Brady Bunch signing off. <laughs>